Gennaro Ferro, mate, complete body in New York City, and today I'm going to take you through a fantastic shoulder, arm, and power pose giant set routine. This is a great workout for those of you who are coming down to a show or someone who's just interested in getting a great workout in within 30 to 35 minutes. It's non-stop. It's going to give you a great pump. I use full range of movement, fantastic technique. Let's get started. Before we start our giant set assault on shoulders and arms, including power pose, we're going to begin by warming up our shoulders, lying on our side on a bench with a five pound dumbbell, perform three sets of 15 of external shoulder rotations which warm up the rotator cuff and the shoulders and prepare us for the workout ahead. Switch sides and perform another 15 reps on your other side. Our next warm-up exercise are what I call the robot raises. So we're going to press up into a triangular formation and then bring our arms down, rotate them down so our forearms run parallel to the floor. Pressing up and then bringing the arms down parallel to the floor really warms up those rotator cuffs. Now we're going to get straight into our workout here with a cable crossover side raise. I'm not going very heavy, I'm using fairly light weight, performing at least 15 to 20 reps. As you can see, slight bend in the elbow and every three or four reps I'm pausing at the top for about a second just to get that extra isometric contraction in the medial deltoid. So hit, this hits the outer head of the shoulder, the medial delta, and gives you that nice sort of round look across the shoulders. Okay, from there we're going to jump straight into biceps. Again, a fairly moderate weight using full range of movement. See how I fully extend my arms out and then contract keeping the elbows fairly level with the shoulders, parallel to the floor, and I'm in an upright position, seated, using a seated cable row machine and a short bar, contracting and stretching those biceps for about 15 reps. I like to use a lat pull-down bar and the lat pull-down machine for my next exercise, the tricep push-down. Now take a fairly narrow grip, lock my arms in by my side, isolate my triceps fully, bringing the bar up to about mid chest level and fully extending the arms without an extreme lockout at the bottom. Our next uh, tricep of exercises going back to shoulders is the old school barbell clean and press. As you can see, I sweep the bar up with a fairly straight back up to my shoulders and press up using all three heads of the shoulders. Um, a moderate weight here, I'm gonna perform at least 12 to 15 reps, keeping my core tight, my knees slightly bent and just a fairly explosive movement. One of my favorite exercises, it's a variation of a dumbbell curl. I call it the dumbbell three angle curl. The first uh, curl is a curl where I bring it in fairly close, then I curl out wide, and then the third angle is the hammer curl. So I come in for the first, wide for the second, and I come in narrow for the, uh, the third, which is the hammer curl. And this really does hit all two heads of the bicep muscles and, and really does provide for a great pump. Again, I'm using about a 25 pound dumbbell and doing at least four, five sets of each with a total of about 15 repetitions.
Okay, this is one of my favorite tricep exercise that really does give you that bottom sweep in the tri, it gives you that nice full look. It's the dual pulley overhead tricep extensions. It's the third of the second lot of exercises and you really need to stabilize your core here. As you can see, I switched stances there and I'm using my legs as well as my abdominals. So really tighten that core, keep the legs strong and the upper arms parallel to the floor while fully contracting at the top of the movement and giving it a nice stretch back behind the head at the bottom. Go for about 15 reps. Okay, we're going back to shoulders again. We're doing a combo dumbbell rear fly combined with a dumbbell punch back. So keeping that back nice and flat, knees slightly bent and glutes flexed in order to free up any tension in the lower back. We're going to totally isolate those rear deltoids by flying out first and then following up with a punch back. Always staying on those rear delts. Be sure to lead with the elbow. See how I I point my elbows up towards the ceiling, that's imperative. A lot of people do this exercise with straight arms and that's not the way to go. That's going to hit your traps more than your rear delts. So keep those elbows high and stay on the rear delts. You'll feel that nice burn back there. 20 reps. Okay, we're moving straight on to barbell 21 curls. So the first lot of seven is halfway up with control, always with control. Then we're going to do halfway down for seven and then finish off with seven full reps. So as you can see, I'm using a moderate weight. Don't let your ego get in the way here. Keep your arms locked in by your side. Keep the biceps under constant tension. Breathe, keep that core tight and you really feel the biceps pumping up and you're going to, you're going to achieve great growth from this exercise. It really does burn them out and shock the muscle into growth. I always like to pose between sets just to stay connected to my muscles. Hit a few double bicep poses, some side chest. This will keep your um, body in check and motivate you to continue on with your workout. Now this is the third and final exercise in the lot of three. It's the elevated close grip push-ups. As you can see, I'm not really narrow, but I am fairly narrow, just enough to engage the triceps, bring it all the way down and all the way up, keep the core tight, the back fairly straight, and just keep working those triceps for 20 reps. This is the fourth round, the beginning of the fourth round with the shoulder exercise, the side front dumbbell combo side raise. It's a side raise, front raise dumbbell combo side raise. So as you can see, I'm always keeping my arms slightly bent. I'm gonna perform 12 to 15 on each variation and then switch it over, have a bit of a rest and again switch arms so this time I'm performing a side raise with my right arm and a front raise with my left arm staying on the front deltoid of the left arm and the medial deltoid of the right arm Re be sure to resist on the way down you always want to eccentrically resist in order to stimulate growth so it's not just about getting the weight up it's about controlling it down which is even more important for growth and cuts. A part of this giant set arm and shoulder routine is to perform power poses and general poses between sets which increase flexibility. As you can see, I'm doing a lot of quarter back shots, flexing my arms and my triceps, engaging my legs all at the same time but not only does this increase flexibility, but it increases muscle definition through the squeezing of the muscle, the isometric and the isotonic squeezing of the muscle, getting down on fairly low to 
engage the abdominals as well and the core. And again, this does also help with um, people that are preparing for show. It's good to pose in the mirror, obviously, to check on your progress and for overall muscle definition and balance. As well. Okay, I'm doing the plate loaded hammer creature curls and I'm going for about 15 to 20 reps, keeping my upper arms flush with the bench and again, exercising full range of movement. Remember, 15 to 20 reps, we're going to be doing three sets of these within this circuit of, of the three different exercises, which was the sun, side front combo, the preacher curls, and the next one's the close grip easy bar presses. Okay, the close grip easy bar presses, keeping your back flat against the bench, lying. Narrow grip, we're going to press up, contracting the triceps and back down for about 20 reps. Control both ways. This is the third of the fourth lot of, of a round of exercises. We're going to be performing three sets of 20 reps and just keep going, aim for a nice pump. This is our final round of um, the three exercises starting with the dumbbell shrugs, slight bend in the arms, squeezing back on the, the traps as I raise my arms, but keeping my arms fairly straight with a slight bend in the elbow. Aim for about 20 reps. Again, I'm gonna be performing three sets of these within this, this circuit. Okay, this second exercise, moving on to the biceps, is the dual pulley cable curls. I love this exercise because I'm, I get to use both cables, isolate each bicep at a time, locking my arms in by my side. I'm e executing full range of movements. So I'm bringing it all the way up and then lowering the weight down slowly for 15 reps. The final exercise in this fifth round of triceps is the standing overhead close grip press using a standing calf machine. Now this really does isolate the triceps. As you can see, I'm not going all the way down, but I'm fully extending all the way up. 15 to 20 reps here. Isolate those triceps. This is a fantastic finishing exercise. Hi guys, that was one grueling workout. Now remember, no rest between sets. Keep that range full. Technique spot on. Keep the blood in the muscles. Stay true to form. If you need any more information about the routine or any of my other specialized routines, please get back to me at ferrafitness.com or you can email me at genoferra at gmail.com. Have a great day. Keep training hard. Keep the nutrition clean and I'll talk to you soon.